So we are going to solve this system of equations. They're nonlinear, so I'm not going to use a matrix. I'm just going to um, just going to see if I can do some substitution or some elimination. And I notice I have a negative y squared here and a positive y squared there. So how about I just add those equations together? Um, x squared plus 2x is that, x squared plus 2x. y squareds cancel, negative 10 plus 25, that's a 15. And so now I have a quadratic to solve. So I'm going to get it equal to 0 and try and factor it or run it through quadratic formula. And things that multiply to negative 15 and add it to 2 would be a negative 5, no, positive 5 and negative 3. So x plus 5 times x minus 3 equals 0. So that means x must be negative 5 or 3. So if those are the two things x are. I can plug them back in and figure out y. So I'll do them one case at a time. x equals negative 5. And let's see, I could plug it into either equation. I'll plug it into this one. It just seems like an easier one to use. So x squared, so negative 5 squared plus y squared equals 25. Uh, negative 5 squared is positive 25. Subtract 25 from both sides. And y squared is 0, which means that y is 0. So when x is negative 5, y is 0. And uh, oop, that was my negative 5, so now I'll do it with my 3 when x is equal to 3. Plug it on in. I'll use the same equation. Uh, x squared plus y squared equals 25. So 9 plus y squared is 25. Subtract 9 from both sides. y squared. Oh, good. I hope that you got that recorded, too. My battery's low. Um, I'm going to keep going, though. Uh, y squared is 16. And now if I square it both sides, notice that y is 4. But what else? It's also negative 4. Because both of those squared give me 16. So uh, when x is 3, y is 4. And when x is 3, y is also negative 4. So there are three points where these two uh, shapes hit each other on a graph.